All right, dudes. So last time I drew a mandala, I said that I was going to start drawing them more often. I said I was going to draw them once a week. So this is me starting that. I'm going to start drawing mandalas once a week now. This will be the first one for the next... I don't know. Should I do it for like 52 weeks for the rest of my life? I don't even know. We'll just do it for as long as we can. See what happens. I thought I drew a lot of mandalas, but apparently I don't. Good old compass. This is how I start every mandala. I like to grab the compass and just work the legs. One day it's going to get all the way to split. Now what I want to do is I'm going to set this to five centimeters and this is just for your benefit so if you want to draw along that's where I'm going to start is at five centimeters. You see how I start from the one and then I go to six. Maths that is maths. Actually before I do that I'm going to make the compass do a split again. Let me set it back. The first thing I need to do before I even draw a circle is get a line down the middle of the page just to split it in two. I'm just going to do it by eye. Now I can draw my circle. How many sections do I want to divide this into? I don't know yet. Let's draw a circle on the top. And a circle on the bottom. I'm going to divide it. I'm going to find the horizontal line through the center. This here, this here. Connect that. And I'll draw two more circles either side. So this is going to be like a fourfold mandala. Actually, I might make it a square. Shall I make it a square? Yeah, we'll make it a square. How big do we want the square? That is the question. So I'll connect these point where they cross. Make sure it goes to the edge. All right, 45 degrees right there. Do the same on here. I'm going to use this point right here and draw some more circles in the corner corners, the corners of the circle. What am I on about? And now to make it a square, I'll join these points right here. Where do we go from here? This is going to be like the overall size of it. So it's got like a massive border on it for no reason. This is the part I always struggle with the most is what to put in the center. I want to have another circle. Well, I want to have a line that follows the circle right here. Should I go all the way to the center? Maybe I should. Ah, you know what would be cool if I start from like here and then draw a line going up like this kind of going from the center to meet there okay that would be cool how can i make that work with the compass so it's totally accurate put it here what would happen if i put it there and just go up and it's pretty close pretty close maybe i could go a bit further out try connecting these put the compass here bring it to the middle oh perfect look at that all right so that'll be my line i'm just gonna go all the way to the edge there and then i'm gonna have to draw a circle going from that point all the way around so then i can work my way around to the next line go from here put another line in oh we need to do both sides actually we need to go to here let's do that one as well i'm just gonna work my way around doing that and we'll see what we end up with too far that one don't know why i went so far concentrate man that's actually a really cool pattern in itself but what i wanted to do was follow this line up to say about here and then give it a spike and i'll put a um bring the compass to that point draw a circle then bring the compass to this point and draw another circle then i can put all the rest of the spikes in very easy to get lost in this now already all right, now I need to figure out what to put in the middle. I might start using a B pencil. Get the old B on there, go. Where is my B? Somebody stole my B. Where is my B? Could it be in this pencil case? It is. There it is. Sharpen it. All right, bossed. This sharpener is rubbish. It's really annoying. What I end up doing most of the time is sharpening it to the point where it's like flat on the end. And then I'll just get a knife and finish it off. Oppa! Boy, man, I need a new pencil. Anyway, getting too small now. I'm gonna have to send off for it. My nearest art supplies shop. I don't even know where it is, to be honest. But I know it's about two hours away. All right, what I'm gonna do is divide this up a bit further by connecting these points. Mm, let's go to there. And now I can use this to draw some more shapes, I guess. Maybe if I just go from here, we can put another spike in. We can go like this and then that will be like another spike. So we'll go with like the lotus petal coming up like this. Work our way around. And now I'm going to use this bit. Mm, what should we put there? Something longer, like a longer petal. Could go up and then swoop in. You know what, I actually want to put like um, these little details on here. What do you call these? They're kind of like flames, aren't they? I think it's um, a bit of Thai influence. Whoops, a little wonky one. I did say to myself that I wanted these mandalas that I do once a week to just be simple mandalas that I can just finish quickly, finishing one session. 
you know, but hard not to get carried away in the details. What if I thickened up this line? Then we'll have another one right here. Yeah, that looks cool. This is about halfway, right? Hmm. Should I divide it again? Yeah, I'll divide it again. So. I'll set it back to the size it was and then I can move over to this point here put a little mark there and there move over to the next one cross cross so I'm just gonna do this on the one side put another one here and where else do I need it oh yeah go here oh no the wrong one that's the wrong one man go there and then right here those are all the points where I need to cut through don't forget to go all the way through doesn't look like it's in the center so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna eye it sometimes things just don't line up and it's better to do it with your eye don't know why it doesn't line up actually that looks worse shouldn't have done that it was probably in the right place you know nah it wasn't but mine was just as bad so we need to go over a little bit more all right that's better with mandalas it doesn't have to be 100% accurate always that's what's good about hand-drawn mandala is there's mistakes everywhere and it's got life in it gonna put another lotus petal kind of shape going up here let's mark where those lines meet is it getting a bit too complicated i really did want this to be a simple mandala i think it got out of hand just a bit let's just put all these in Now I need to work on the frame a little bit, I reckon. So what I'm gonna do is put a little mark on each corner, a few millimeters in from the edge of the square. Then then I'll connect all those marks to give us a nice border around the piece. I like the shape right here. I wonder if I could use that. See, I could only use it in the corners though, because here it crosses outside the square. Yeah, maybe I can just use that in the corners, build off that. I know what I'm gonna do, because I like this. I like this pattern so much, I want it around the whole mandala. So what I'm going to do is draw the circle again in the same place, but smaller. So maybe if I start over here, I start here, then I can set it to where I want it to go. Hmm, let's go all the way to there. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ignore this line that I just drew. I'm going to use that and then I'm going to draw another line that I'm going to use as the border instead. So I'm just extending the piece a little bit and then I can use this all the way around. I don't know what it is about that shape, but I like it. Now I need to figure out what's gonna go inside this area in each corner. I'm gonna draw another line right here. Then I need to come in a little bit. Maybe I'll go to this, go across. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. This petal is gonna go over the frame. Then I'm gonna have the mandala continuing out but it's going to go underneath the frame between these two big petals you know yeah so what i want to do is divide these sections in two just doing it by eye just to uh, take time really if you can do it if you've got the eye then do it if you can't then measure it we've already got like a circle going on here maybe what i should do is just like this yeah just like a little triangle shape any of those empty bits We need something in the corners here. We need more shapes here. I'm thinking I'll just go with these, um, oh, maybe it should be less, more. Maybe there should be more. Maybe it should be like this. Yeah, yeah, like that. But then I'm going to go around with this. And I'm gonna draw all these buggy shapes. Oh, that one's too wide. What have I done? What's the last bit gonna be? What do I put here? Let's just start drawing and see, see what happens. That's nice. Draw that in each corner. Oh man, this is going to be hard to draw upside down. So it goes like this. There. Yeah. Nice. I really like these lines in the frame. I wonder if I can use them anyway. The actual guidelines. Maybe like flames. Yeah, that's going to look pretty cool if I work it all the way around. Because then on the corners, you've also got this lotus petal going on. So the real question is now, can I get this finished in one day? supposed to be going the other way dude all right then so that's the pencil done is it maybe i need to add something here no nah, i'll add that in ink so yeah that's the pencil done i'm gonna rub it out lightly just so the pencil doesn't interfere too much with the ink i wish i had a putty rubber if you got a putty rubber you can just like roll it over it's another thing i gotta go to the art shop for all right that's enough rubbing out in the middle i'll do the outside like as i get to it all right and now we're ready to ink I just wanted to try out drawing and talking as I'm going because normally when I draw a mandala I'll um, use it as meditation and I'll focus on clearing my mind and well that's about it really it's just clearing my mind and just focusing on nothing but the lines and it's very very relaxing so it's kind of weird to talk as I'm drawing but seeing as I'm making a video 
about it anyway. Figured, give it a shot. Felt like putting the compass in the pen today. Most of the time, I'll freehand these circles, but I mean, I just, I haven't decided which style I prefer to have like perfect circles drawn in ink or, you know, slightly shaky freehand circles because i really like the practice of drawing a circle freehand there's something about it well it's just personal preference isn't it and this person hasn't actually decided what he prefers where do we want this i actually think it would be better here i'm gonna put it there I could totally go off there. That might look kind of cool. So now I can go over these. I almost can't see this one. See, I've rubbed it out a bit too much. Happens sometimes. It's all good there. Just freestyle it. All right. The question is, do I use a ruler to do the frame or do I freehand it? The circles are perfect. I feel like the square should be perfect as well. Yeah, I'm going to use a ruler for this. And I'll start with this line here. You know what's cool about drawing mandalas? It's incredibly relaxing, but there's also moments of like extreme pressure and you just feel like everything could just fall apart at any second because if you make one bad line the whole thing is going to be ruined you know originally i was going to do these mandalas live i don't know it's kind of awkward doing it live because i'm trying to really focus as i'm doing it and the live just kind of adds one more distraction so it didn't really work out so this is going to kind of replace those kinds of live streams i was using the hashtag mandala sessions so anybody that followed along could tag mandala sessions and I would be able to see it on Instagram. But someone's hijacked it, man. Someone's just took it and just started using it as their own, which is fair enough, really, because, you know, I literally only used it for a couple of sessions, so they can have it, but now I've got to think of a new one. And I'm thinking, you know, it's Monday today. Maybe we'll do Mandala Mondays. Hashtag Mandala Mondays or hashtag Mandala Monday. Monday Mandala. I don't know. I'm going to look this up and see, uh, see which one is taken already. Yeah, see what's available. That way you can share your work on the gram. Hashtag Mondalas. Hashtag Mande. Mandela. No, that's not good. Mondela. Mon... Mondala. <laughs> now these are terrible. These are all terrible names. I think if it's available, we'll, we'll go with the uh, Mandala Mondays. That would be the best option, I reckon. And I'll just make it a habit to always draw a mandala on Monday. And maybe I'll post it the next Monday. Pretty good idea. That's what I'll do. I must admit though, I hardly ever go on Instagram anymore. I just don't do that kind of thing. I've never really been that into it. Never got into Facebook. I liked the old Instagram. You know, Instagram was cool back in the day. And then Facebook got hold of it and it just all, I feel like it just collapsed. It just started like showing me loads of posts that I don't care about. It just became really boring, so. But it was like also mega addictive, even though it's boring. You're like sitting there thinking, oh yeah, but maybe the next post is going to be good. So you can scroll down a bit more. Then that post sucks as well. You think, well, maybe the next one's good. No, nope, that sucks as well. And you just keep going and it never gets good. It always sucks. I'll tell you what I did one time. I, um, I went through everybody that I follow, which is like 300 people. And I muted every single one of them. Because I thought, oh, it'd be cool if my home feed just doesn't have anything, so there's no distractions, and I can just go and see exactly what I want to see. But then, Instagram thought that I wasn't following anybody, and started recommending people I should follow, and posts that it thought that I wanted to see, which were all just terrible. So it totally backfired on me. And then I couldn't be bothered to go through everybody and unmute them all, so instead I just kind of abandoned the app. <laughs> just forgot all about it. It's like it's being curated by a robot, but a robot with really poor taste in everything. Well, it's not like that. I mean, that's exactly what it is, isn't it? But saying that, robots can have good taste. Look at the Terminators. They're so stylish. I can't believe I thought this was going to be a simple one. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to draw a nice, simple mandala. Nope, that went out the window. Let's make it mega complicated, really detailed for no reason. Next time I'll make it simple. That's something I actually struggle with is like, when do you stop adding details? You know, it's just so you can't help adding more and more details. Just so satisfying.
forgot about these things, whatever they are. These are also leaves, so I'm gonna say they're leaves. And the last little bit, gonna break out the 0.2 for the first time, just to do these little swirly bits in the corners. Break out the rubber again. And now I'm just gonna try and get rid of as much pencil as possible. I just had an idea, but I think it's kind of a gamble, but to do like a wavy, I don't know how to describe it, but like a wavy blob in the middle that kind of radiate towards the edge of the circle. Oh, it's a gamble. But you know what? I've mentioned it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. Wobbly blob. Um, that's what I'm going to draw. That's what I'm going to call it. It's like a amoeba. How's it going to look? I want it to not be symmetrical. All right, here we go. I'm just going to draw whatever. Cool. Do it with a 0.2. And then as it goes out, it'll change shape and form. Is this gonna look good? I don't know, but why not? Actually, you know what? It's kind of cool. It kind of looks like a uh, like the rings on a tree. Oh yeah, that's the look I was going for this whole time. I just kind of couldn't figure out how to say rings of a tree. So it sounded like I said wobbly blob. But what I was really trying to say was the rings of a tree. This is like one of those moments where, you know, when you look at someone's art and they describe what it's about and they're like yes i wanted it to look like the rings of a tree to symbolize its passage through time but really they just thought you know what i'm gonna draw a wobbly blob it's very relaxing drawing this these rings these tree rings really relaxing should we add some dots to it go with a 0.1 and i just want to i just want to add a bit of shading around the edges that will fade into the center all right, I'm halfway through the dot, but I'm actually gonna call it a day there because I am needed elsewhere. I've got to go and carve a path out the side of the mountain. All right, day two, time to get back on it. Put some lines in here. I'm gonna put the, put the pen in the compass again. I just wanna thicken up a couple of lines here. I want this bit to just be solid black thicken these up a bit. Right now I'm just adding the first thing that comes to mind and that is always the best way to do it. This is going to be black here. Yeah. This is kind of a weird mandala. Not sure I actually like it. I think the center is just mad isn't it? The center's a bit... I think this with color might look pretty cool as far as it goes with black and white. I'm not so sure about it. Maybe I'll add a bit of colour in the future. I will persevere, not give up on it. At the end of the day, it's all about the journey. It's a new style of mandala, new style of video. This needs to be thicker here. Should you really be critical of a mandala? Because the practice of drawing a mandala is not always purely about making something that looks good. It's also an abstract representation of your world, the universe around you this is this is turning into a completely different style mandala that, than i would usually draw and i'm not mad at it it's an exploration isn't it so let's try and analyze this so far right you got the tree you got the tiger stripe you got spikes everywhere if this was a dream i think it would be a very psychedelic dream it's kind of like a portal isn't it i want these bits to be solid black as well i'm actually like really liking the black i think it needs it and it suits it you should never be afraid to add I also want to add a ton of black in the frame. You know what, I'm actually loving this right now. It's like a weird portal to a dream world. It's turning into a kind of Escher looking drawing. Still not sure about the center though. I don't know about those rings. I thought it looked cool yesterday, but now I'm not so sure. Maybe if the spikes were black inside. That seems a bit risky. What if these lines were just thicker? Gotta make these lines thicker as well though. I don't know how it happened, but this piece, I swear it's getting more and more psychedelic, it's like a dream world safari. I can't believe I said this, this was gonna be a simple mandala. I said to myself, all right, let's just sit down and draw a mandala for like an hour or two and just see what we come up with. All right, the finishing touches, I'm gonna put some dots, a lot of dots in the frame because I want to make sure the frame is dark. So I'm almost done with this now. It's been quite a journey. There was a point where I just didn't like it and um, honestly I could have just given up on it and pushed through. And now I actually really like it. I think it's pretty cool. So it just goes to show maybe when something sucks if you just see it through then maybe it sucks a bit less or maybe it turns out good. Yeah, that's better. If at first it sucks, and maybe it gets good. All right, that should just about do it. If you made it this far, thanks for listening to me rambling on. I'll see you next week for another mandala. Ta-ra.